Hey guys, it's Franco. So, C207, data-driven decisions. I passed this course like a little bit a while ago, but I was too busy doing something else with work and everything. But if you want to know how to pass this course or at least at least check out what I did for the course to be able for to be able to pass it, check out this video. All right. C207, WGU. Let's go. So what are you going to learn on this course? Whether your company is big or small, you're going to have to use the tools that you're going to learn on this course. Data-driven uh, decisions. So there's always data. For instance, you, you own a Pizza Hut place. Is it beneficial for you to add more employees, whether you're more, you have more deliveries or more pickup? It, it, you need to compute your revenue against each other something like that uh it this is this is really really fun because the other side of my channel is stocks and one of the the tasks that i need to do i use the stocks i will show you in my computer later but that's basically the gist of it you need this course it is a fun course although it's intimidating at first because you got your two documents that you you will need to pass and you also need to pass your pre-assessment and then the objective assessment usually they're separate from each other but right now on this course you will need to do it but don't it's not difficult so check out <laughs> my monitor I'm gonna change so you got some visual already. So, data driven decision making. Um, C207. This is an easy course if you really dig into it. Like I said earlier, let me see if I can show you. I can show you everything because WGU will uh, flag me, but there's a pre assessment, objective assessment, and two papers that need to be passed. Usually, this are the this are not together but in this course you had to do it all now the easiest way to do it in my perspective is to browse through the reading material and perform task one which is this one i don't know if i can show it uh, yeah so task one Basically, you will need to choose between all the quantitative and statistical tools and prove that it's the correct tool to, to use on your decision. In my case, I did stocks. So I did the, I chose ANOVA to compare the SP, SP, S&P 500 caterpillar and semi and that's that's all I did um, I proved that that's the correct tool to compare all those and that's that's one for you uh, it only took me like 15 minutes honestly to finish task one and then on task two which is a continuation of your task one you actually need to perform the calculations and there's a bunch of questions that i cannot show you so just uh just do that uh, it took me like four hours to finish it right after that go to your pre-assessment now your pre-assessment Obviously, I did not pass the first time, but it's the same questions, it's the same questions over and over again, and just see where you at, and and then gauge to your ability. On 
as all you know, I, I, I think I mentioned this on some of my videos, I'm not really a reader, I'm a visual person. So, like for instance, here, there's videos. Just watch the videos if you are not a uh, good reading, I am not. And then the quizzes, do it over and over and over again. All your assessment questions, your OA, will be composed of 80% situational questions. You, you, you cannot just read and memorize. This is not a memorization uh, course. It, this is like a master's level course, so everything is situational. So you need to practice, read, and watch the videos. And you can see here, there's a, uh, examples again, and then the quizzes, you need to do that. And then obviously I watch some of the cohort, but I'm, it got then to the point where it got a little bit boring for me. So I stopped. <laughs> and I read some but I mostly watch videos there are some information that's in the reading material and uh, there's sample ones like I said there's this is this course is about the tools to help you with your decisions when you're a manager or CEO or any upper management this is beneficial this this page itself you need to know how to do it I got notes too like like I never I never lose my notes I, I have my own notes aside from reading and watching the videos and there's a case study chapter 7 is not uh, it's not really included in your OA I mean you this is just a uh, supplementary reading if you're really into it uh, so I never really read to it I, I browsed through it but yeah yeah um, you can see here that I pass it uh, let's see if I can show you the grade so yeah I pass it with the green uh, skin of my teeth uh, but this is good um, two yellows which is approaching competence out of six which is all four of them are green that's good enough to pass but I, I really did a lot of reading and watching videos so as so you know, I'm already in my operations management C215. Do you guys want me to uh, have a video of that too? Do you think it's beneficial for you? Uh, this course or this, um, yeah, the, the class itself is a little bit harder because there's, there's not a lot of videos. It's, it's mainly a reading course. It's a lot of reading and I'm doing it right now so if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel and then there's more courses here I'm gonna show you if you are in WGU and if not go to my channel and then the actual channel in YouTube and check out my stocks and my investment ideas and tell me if I'm wrong or my strategy is not good enough I need some suggestions and hopefully you learn from it too. All right, bye.